Hi everyone, Kusumal Designs here, and this is part one of the Tamiya 132nd scale F16 build. Now, we are doing two kits at once here. We have the Thunderbirds right here, which is the F16C, and we have the CJ F16. There are quite a few differences in these two kits here. Um, one, namely the price. I'm sure if you are watching this video, you know this kit right here. The Thunderbirds goes for a hefty price if you can find it. And uh, the CJ here, that still, you know, fetches you about 200 bucks here if you're in Canada. But um, the F-16C here, uh, which I'm going to refer to it as the F-16C because we are not doing the Thunderbirds. Uh, I got mandated to do just like uh, a wartime, you know, F-16C, which I'm going to get into in a few minutes here. But both these kits are going to be on a stand. Now, that's kind of difficult with this kit right here because this one here does not come with a stand. Um, it was actually never meant to be put on a stand, but um, with a few changes, you can do it, which we're going to get into in this video here. But this one here does come with a stand, um, but it's not really meant to be, you know, in a wartime setting. It's just meant to be, you know, in a Thunderbirds setting, right? Uh, you know, demo. So a few things are going to have to be done to this, but um, this one here is a small mouth F-16, which is, uh, if you're not familiar, that's just with the intake right there, and this one here is a wide mouth. Now, parts can be interchanged, like if you go on eBay and whatnot, um, you can find the pieces that can be interchanged, right? So if you find the sprue with the wide mouth and whatnot, you can put it onto this one right here to change up your F-16 a bit. It can get pricey, of course, but um, it can be done, so that way your F-16 can look unique, right? But what we're doing here today is we're making two planes. You know, obviously we're doing that one and that one, and putting them on the stand. So what I've done, obviously, is I got to the two kits here, and then I've actually bought some extra parts on top of that. So uh, we're going to get into the stands on a different date, uh, but today we're going to be talking the engines. Now... The stands that I did buy, uh, just to talk about them for a second here, um, are from this kit right here. So what I've done, obviously, is I bought this kit, and then I bought an additional stand that will accommodate this F-16 right here. But when you do that, you're going to have to buy additional parts that will accommodate the stand, right? So what we're talking about today is the engines. So I got both instruction sheets out. Right, we have this one here from the CJ, and we have this one here from the Thunderbirds. So what you want to do is you want to look at the parts needed to accommodate the stand. So um, what it shows you in the instruction book right here is you have A or B, right? So we want B because this one here will close up the engine and not accommodate the stand, so don't bother with that. So right here we want... Um, P32. So what I've done is I bought an extra sprue, which is P. So you're going to need two P sprues. So luckily on eBay, someone was selling a P sprue. So I went ahead and bought another P sprue. And then I thought I might need an R sprue for the engines. But luckily with the this kit right here, you get dual sprues right so obviously you need enough for uh, the exhaust but um, because they you know they just uh, molded duplicate sprues for the exhaust you get two or I should say four of these which is two right so luckily there's enough here for two planes so you just need another P sprue which will accommodate these pieces here which is this piece right here as well. But the O-rings, I only have three, which you need four. Luckily in the Thunderbirds kit, they give you a spare, but I'll see if I can just uh, get another O-ring from somewhere else. Um, I'm sure the hardware store might have something. This will prevent the stand from you know swiveling too much or you know flipping your plane over. But uh, as you can see, the CJ is gray and the Thunderbirds kit is white. And the pieces are pretty much identical. And as you can see, I got all the pieces needed uh, to accommodate the stand. Because as you can see with the CJ kit, it's really intense for the engine and stuff. It's made so it's made for like displaying your engine for the most part, right? 
but um, all I'm going to need basically is this right here to eventually put into the aircraft, right? So that'll eventually be uh, for displaying the stand, uh, which I'll show you at a later date. So it can be done, and there's enough parts here if I want to um, have the you know afterburner on or the nozzles closed, things like that. However, I think because um, obviously the CJ is running a different type of engine, I'll be able still to use these pieces from the CJ kit right here for the different style of, uh, of engine. But if not, I can still use these, which is great. So that is the first step um, if you want to uh, follow along in building these two aircraft uh, and display it on the stand because I don't think you're going to be able to do it with using the CJ engine unless you, you know, cut it down, but I don't think it's going to fit right. But um, all you need so far is just an extra sprue P. I believe that's all you're going to need so far. And maybe the O-rings. But um, luckily, this kit right here came with a spare. I got three, and I think you need four. But I'm sure I'll be able to muster up something. If not, then I'll see if I can buy another one. But um, it's just a rubber O-ring. So there we go. Um, that's just the first steps in doing this right here on the display stands and again We're not doing the Thunderbirds. We are actually going to be uh, You know doing like a wartime footing on that one and it does come with uh, you know drop tanks and things like that and um, I Have spare missiles and things like that. So it's gonna be interesting to turn that model into uh, you know a combat uh, f-16c and have uh, this guy flying right beside her. So anyway, please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to your thoughts on this build here, guys. So thanks so much. Bye.